<laughs> Nicholas, tenure, barrel strength, right. Tonight we're going to get into this as much as it's going to get into us. Uh, Boy, how we, you? Uh, if you've uh, been a fan of the show for any length of time, you know that I love rye um, almost as much as I love Jim Beam. Bing. <laughs> and uh, uh, we're going to have a good time with it. I just know it because we got Phil Mitchum with us, and uh, it's a uh, it's full house. It's party time! Let's do it. Our house in the middle of the street. Uh, oh, sorry. Welcome to the Save the Bird podcast. My name is Jonathan. Over there is Mr. W2. How do you do? Man, I am doing really good. We're doing all right. It's, it's always it's a good time good. when Phil Mitchum is in the house. It's been a good night. In the easy. This guy. Uh, uh, tonight, uh, we are going to try out this. Um, uh, we've already tried it before. We haven't had a, right, right. a solid pour. We haven't had our official review uh, as far as this Michter's 10-year uh, rye goes. Um, yeah, so earlier this year, we found ourselves up at Red X in mm-hmm. Riverside at mm-hmm. a Michter's tasting, and which at the tasting, they had their core four products, the mm-hmm. uh, bourbon, the sour mash, the American whiskey, and the the rye. The rye. And In they, addition to that. And, and then, yeah, and for a $10 pour, you could have a uh, one ounce pour of this 10-year rye. Mm-hmm. But the 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 draw, the lure that got us to the tasting to begin with. Was the chance to buy. Was the chance to buy. They had a handful of rare allocated bottles that they were going to raffle off uh, a chance to buy. And mm-hmm. lo and behold, I was the n- second number that they called. Yeah. And I walked home with the 10-year rye. Yep. So, yep, yep. super excited. We were first hoping for the bourbon, <clears throat> second mm-hmm. hoping for the rye. And, uh, yeah, you went up there and you grabbed that right. You grabbed that rye. And other people got, uh, what was it, the, the bomb burgers? The bomb burgers, the, sh- the shank. And the shank, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And those were really good. Uh, they also had some Blanton, some Eagle Rare. They had they had, they had had a lot more stuff than yep. they said they were going to have. Master Collection, so, uh, Woodford Reserve. Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah. I ended up getting the uh, the OG, the regular uh, Mictor's rye. Yeah. And I walked all over the store trying to find a silver Sharpie. They didn't have any. <laughs> I had her sign my bottle with a <clears throat> marker. That was, okay, so... That you know, led to that led to what ended uh, up being the, our Michter's kind of VIP extravaganza. Oh, that yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So I was I was telling Jennifer the uh, the other day you had posted a a uh, a short on mm-hmm. uh, YouTube and, and reels, uh, all the things. Uh, follow us on socials. You know what we're talking about. Of uh, you, you were doing your uh, filling of the bottle of the uh, Fort Nelson Reserve mm-hmm. uh, there at Michter's, and it was a it looked like an amazing experience. And I was showing Jennifer. I was at the gas pump it was monday night uh, the night i got the truck uh, i went to the gas station right after because i'm gonna need gas it's a truck and so uh um uh, you just like you were I, I finally saw the text you texted like make, maybe an hour before and you're like hey uh check youtube see if i uploaded it right or whatever i'm like okay and so i, I watched the video i'm like holy shit that's an awesome video taking care of business <laughs> right and every day it. yeah it's uh, one. I love Bachman Tur- Turner Overdrive. At least that song, anyway. And it, it was a, a great, great song pick. Good job. But uh, the the video quality, the the editing, all that was great. Um, uh, where was I going with it? Oh, so I showed Jennifer, and she's like, "That yeah, that's a cool video." And I said, "And just think, they got to have that experience just because of me and my lack of boundaries." <laughs> and, and she's like, "What are you talking about?" And I'm like, I, "I'm thinking. I told you this story five or ten times at least." And I said, "Remember, uh, we went to Red X for the Mictors tasting, and uh, the uh, the presenter lady uh, uh, Raven. I said um, after her her presentation, I went up to her and I said, "Listen, uh, I have a couple questions. One." Um, 
uh, do you have time this evening? Like, or do you have to like hop on a plane or whatever? Because uh, uh, I'm Jonathan uh, over there is W two. We have a podcast. It's all about whiskey, all the things, and um, we would love to pepper you with uh, you know, 180 questions on um, <laughs> all things Mictors because uh, I, I missed some stuff uh, uh, during your presentation because people were talking. And um, uh, two, would you be willing to have some uh, Kansas City whiskey with us over at a local distillery here, Riegers? It's a not too far away. Called Riegers. Mm. Yeah. And so, uh, I, surprisingly, uh, her answer was yes both times. And so, um, you know, I'm talking about how I have this lack of boundaries and stuff. She's like, you were flirting with her. And I was like, I was not flirting with her. I was trying to get her to come hang out with us because, you know, once again, we had all these questions. But, it's uh, for the podcast. It's, it's for the podcast. I, if I, if I, listen, Jennifer, if I was flirting, it was for the podcast. I didn't, you know. Anyway, so yeah, it's for the podcast. It's She's like, podcast. cut it out. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, it was it was for the podcast. It was, it was, a, it was a great time. Uh, yeah. We got uh, we, we Got a flight. All three of us got a flight mm -hmm. of uh, Riggers, some uh, Casey whiskey. Uh, we gave her a little bit of a tour around the place. Uh, uh, all three of us did the slide down into from the bar up area up there to the main lobby. Uh, we ordered food. We talked Michters. Um, uh, that's where she brought up these decanters. Yep. Oh, good God. She brought up these decanters. Sorry. The 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 head fell off. Well. There you go. She brought up these decanters that, that they used to have in the 70s, 80s? 78. Uh, and um, how, they're, 80s. how they're Egyptian themed. And uh, and then that's when you started talking about your tattoos, uh, having so many uh, uh, Egyptian themed tattoos. You just got me so nervous now. Yeah, right. Yeah. I'm, I'm putting that the fuck down. What are you doing? Goodness. And so, uh, yeah, it was it was a great night. We were totally excited. Did I not get that on straight? I'm sorry, Nefertiti. Wherever you are, totally sorry. Can't take you anywhere. I'm, I'm fired. <laughs> Band, podcast, the whole thing. I'm so going. What were you saying? Yeah. Uh, really looking forward to this pour tonight from Nectar's uh. ten-year single barrel ride. It's going to be great. Sometimes I feel like you remember when uh, when I knocked it when you had the uh, the Woodford Reserve uh, oh, 21 proof that thing he makes his cocktail with it and I'm like oh man that looks great and I fucking idiot knocked it over and I'm like oh no and so he's well, got to make the whole thing over again it was Derby Day so we're doing Derby Day jewels, cocktails okay. okay but we also tried my 145 dollar Master Collection bottle of Woodford Reserve yeah and I'm like you know what. This is going great in the cocktail. I bet this is going to, people are going to ream us for this, but because no one it. no one would do this, but right. let's make a mint julep with this. I bet it's going to be amazing. And yeah. it was amazing. And it was amazing, it was but amazing. I made him up there. He made me two <laughs> because I knocked over my first one. And there were two ounces of it in each glass, and uh, he knocked it over. And uh, I felt like an idiot. Like, do you take credit? <laughs> <laughs> So now, whenever I offer to buy somebody anything for the podcast, uh, he doesn't argue with me. He's just like, yeah, okay, I'll give you the fucking money. Come on. <laughs> it's for the podcast. All right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. But anyway, so uh, tonight, uh, we're going to try one of the whiskeys that we tried at the uh, Mictor's Tasting Night yeah. at Red X in Riverside. And... Uh, I'm fucking. I'm. I'm ecstatic. I'm. I'm looking forward to hearing what uh, Phil has to say about it. I'm looking forward to hearing whether or not we have the same feelings that we had yeah. before. I'm gonna talk about it. Let's let Phil uh, pull that uh, that wax. Oh yeah. Rip cord off of there, and oh, uh, let's yeah. get let's get this poured up and. Oh, yeah. oh my chair's turning. Oh yeah. <laughs> you got a lot of torque. <laughs> Is it really that hard, hard of a pull? Or? Uh, yeah, it's giving me a little effort. All right. Well, 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 All right. It's thick wax, you know? It's not like a maker's uh, marker. He's, he switched hands. He switched hands. They even, give you, they even give you They even give you. a little... Oh, Jesus, they really did wax mm -hmm. that thing down. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That is some good wax. I mean, that's that's airtight, I guess. <laughs> so this is the Mickers 10-year single like barrel... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm leaving it alone. I'm leaving it alone. And he said it. <laughs> One of the things I love about Mictors is they they are a genuinely limited production distillery. They do one of two things. They either do small batch, which 
Their small batches are a maximum of 20 barrels. Or they do single barrel. Whether it is their standard core uh, rye product mm-hmm. or this 10-year, they're both single barrel. So their entire rye lineup is all single barrel, which I think is really, really cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, th- this is the Michter's 10-year single barrel Kentucky straight rye whiskey. It is made by Michter's in, uh, in Kentucky. It is 10 years. The cooperage on this is fire charred New American white oak barrels. And don't forget, Michter's, unlike a lot of other distilleries, before they do anything else to the to the barrel, they make the barrel, it's new American oak. They do a light toasting on it before they char it, which then opens up a little bit more of that. This 10-year comes in at 92.8 proof, so it's a little higher than the the core offering. And it says here, one of our most limited production items, Michter's 10-year single barrel Kentucky straight rye continues the legacy of America's first whiskey variety, rye, from America's first whiskey company, Michter's, originally known as Shanks, which they were located in Pennsylvania at that time. After a nearly three-year absence from the market, Michter's then master distiller Willie Pratt finally gave the green light for the re-release of Michter's 10-year straight rye in 2014. You're going to read the pamphlet? <clears throat> and, you know, well, I'm, I'm definitely checking it out. It's all part of the bottle presentation. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like we, t- like we talked about, I, I got this bottle. Uh, I, I was the, the raffle number that they pulled mm-hmm. on there. I was super stoked. Uh, I was the second number pulled. The first number uh, pulled... Uh, later ran up there, and I had been mean mugging and eyeballing yeah. the 10-year bourbon I think everybody was eye-fucking that bottle. I, everybody dude. was. And she ran up there and grabbed it without hesitating, yeah. and then they pulled my number second. So I was I was like, ready to yeah. find her in the parking lot, dude. I'm like, <laughs> it's for the podcast. I wasn't mad, though. I, I, I was I was happy to take the, the 10-year rye. And then you fast forward a couple weeks. I was on vacation with the family in Louisville. We did the tour. Mm-hmm. Thanks to Raven, we got hooked up with a VIP experience. Mm-hmm. You all saw on our yep. bottle fill of the cast strength mm-hmm. single barrel bourbon, uh, which then led to... Just a, a, a great time all afternoon, and then it ended up with me walking out of there with the 10-year bourbon bottle. So all said and done, I had both 10-year offerings and could not be happier. But at the tasting, we, we went ahead and paid the 10 bucks, had the 10-year rye as a pour, and I think we both kind of got our pour and we set it down on our flight with yeah. the rye, and we waited till we got to the rye in the flight. Mm-hmm. We tried. Kind of want to do a little bit of a side by side. We tried yeah. the standard rye first, <laughs> and then we took our sip of this one, which was great because that gave it a little bit of time to to air out and to breathe a little bit beforehand. And I, I remember being just, oh my goodness, this is this is delicious. All right, so once but, again, man, I'm. I mean, look at that! Look at that! Nose. Look at that color! Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just right. such a great color. It's like a, like a, that, a, a dark amber. That is the dark amber. That yeah. is that is what I. And the yellow, legs, dark the amber. legs are fucking beautiful. Oh my god! Dude, yeah, that the, nose. Did you get the nose? Yeah. You, like, get, you got rye spice all over that, just right. just coupled and it's, just wrapped it's in like a mix coffee of, and of, butterscotch, of malted rye and and rye. Yeah, it's like it's like, rye rye butterscotch. Rye rye butterscotch. Yep. Oh my god. Why wait? Yeah. Why not? Still want to get a couple more uh, notes off of the nose. Uh, oh, know, you know I what? Know, dude. We, we want to get into it. There's orange peel on the nose. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There's there's a little bit of an orange peel. Okay. Okay. Some citrus. It's not, it's not orange zest. It's orange peel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I would also say some honey. Some like clover honey. Definitely get some clove. That's for sure. You I, think clove? Clove or like okay. a, maybe I'm confusing it with like an allspice. No. It's, I think you hit right with clove. Yeah, I think it's clove. I don't know what. Um There's some other fruity thing there, but I'm not sure. I think like maybe dried fruit. Dried fruit. Dried stone fruit. Give me a let me write it down. 
dried stone fruit of the devil. <laughs> yeah. Do it. Holy shit. The angels sing. Yeah, that's the angels <laughs> sing. <clears throat> wow. Uh, honey carries through. Honey carries through and opens right. up to vanilla. Honey, honey and, and more, more toffee. Lots of, of orange orange zest and, and and just an nice orange citrus flavor. Uh intermingled in there the the rye is more defined i'd say I'm, I'm not picking up so much on the uh the malted part of the rye um uh the rye uh mm. palette on this it's just straight like the the grain you know yeah so good the vanilla that's there is, is very custardy the 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 that rye spice is is nice isn't that oh and uh we talked Cinnamon, about the baking spice mm-hmm uh, we talked about the proof being 92.8. Um, in this episode, we haven't talked about uh, what proof it is when they go into the barrel. Oh, yeah. So Most any other distillery. Yeah. So, so 125 is is the the max entry level for, for the barrel. The max? Okay. It is. And, and, and most distilleries put it in there at 125. Yeah. And then it climbs mm-hmm. up to 140, mm-hmm. 100, 150. Yeah. Uh, we've got a Jay Riggers that is a hundred on paper. It, on paper, it's one hundred forty nine point eight mm-hmm. or one hundred forty nine point nine. But I talked to the, the distiller that was working on that one. He said, "Yeah, by the time we actually bottled it, mm-hmm. we'd already printed the labels. That may have been a mistake. May have been a mistake because by the time they bottled it, it was one hundred fifty one plus." <laughs> Definitely hazmat, but it's, yeah. and they call it hazmat. Come to find out, they call it hazmat because uh, at that proof, material. it's a hazardous material. Yeah. They want to ship it. Yep, that's fucking so. Nuts, so so Michter's, the thing that I have grown to just absolutely love about Michter's is they are quality first. Quality first above first everything foremost. else, e- even if it means cutting into the bottom dollar. Mm-hmm. They put everything into the barrel at a hundred and three proof. Yeah, and so, so whatever and, comes out of the still, they'll prove it down. Yeah, so so, so like they're they're the the standard bourbon, I think, is ninety two point four or ninety point four. That's a lot closer to one hundred and three mm. than you know the uh, single barrel cast strength bourbon that I got is only one hundred and ten. I say only one hundred and ten. Right. I mean one hundred and ten is nothing to sneeze at. Right. But <clears throat> compared to our bookers or the little book that's you know 130 or the the readers that I talked about that's 150 having those little differences and and going into the barrel at mm-hmm. that lower proof I think makes for a better product all the way around you know I, I pulled out the their their standard uh, rye offering which like I said is also a single barrel. I don't have my readers in front of me. What does it say? Uh, what? what are you looking for? The the proof. That's 42, 42.4 by volume. So, uh, sorry, 84.8. 84.8. Yeah. 84.8 is the standard rye versus this 10-year is 92.8. Oh, that, I just want to spend a night with it. Right. It's it's yeah. so dang That's good. A, this is the kind of rye you want to take home and, and introduce to your mom. <laughs> She God. followed me home. Can I keep her? <laughs> Got so much going there. This is like the librarian after she let her hair down. <laughs> oh, and and then and then and then put her glasses on. Gar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that caramel toffee. I mean, it's, yeah. it's it's all there. I mean, there's there's just. I think Easy I, math for me, my dude. Oh I think God, I've got it. So good. Easy fucking math for me. I mean, this this is hands down. I'm just gonna say this is hands down the best rye I've ever had in my life. Yeah, the, 
I mean, you and I both did the same thing. Um, not to talk too far ahead of myself. Yeah, here, but some, we, no. we did. We did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like uh, every meme that you see, like guys will look at this picture and say, fuck. Yeah. Like you yeah, guys will smell <laughs> this. Guys will smell this and look at each other and be like, fuck. Yeah. They would think of one thing and it's disgusting. All right. So we, <laughs> it's whiskey. <laughs> so we didn't talk too much about the, uh, the finish. And uh, the different uh, flavors that we're picking up off of it. This one here, I'm actually picking up leather and vanilla uh, on the late finish. Okay. It, it's long and warm. I got oak and spice, and I got a sweet rye. Uh, what uh, what all did you guys pick up on the finish as far as uh, uh, flavors go? There's maybe a, maybe give it another sip real yeah. quick. And the, the the butter butter like to to Wayne's point when he was mentioning mm -hmm. the butterscotch and the and the custard and. That's on the palate for sure. Yeah, um, and then the finish. If it pushes right on through to the finish, yeah. uh, the that orange butterscotch citrus. and toffee, mm -hmm. and it does, it does the same thing to me. Uh, every time I take a sip and it sits for a second, I'm getting drawn to another sip. Yep, mm -hmm. and that's uh, that's dangerous, but that is a good sign because yeah. you want you want to be drawn. Excuse to Excuse my sip. reach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got Holy the satisfying smokes. cork sound. It does. <laughs> Definitely does. Uh, I can't say no. I have to say no. I can't say I'm no driving a car with temp tags. I'm not. Yeah, with ultra tinted windows. <laughs> In Kansas. And they well, look whose up, fault they, is that? They look <laughs> up the temp tag, they'll see I bought it from a from a car lot on Troost. Oh, well, no. So they're like, all right. This guy's driving while black. And, and he's then got, pull me over. It, it's a, all right, <laughs> hold on a second. A it's, a, it's a Lincoln Silverado. <laughs> now we know what's up. Uh, cheers to that. Lord <laughs> Lincoln Silverado. Lincoln Silverado. <laughs> oh, this must be Lord Lincoln Silverado. God bless it, man. The first. <laughs> Long live his line. <laughs> Long live his line. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, hands down, by far the best mm -hmm. rye I've ever had. Okay, so, okay. And we've had some good rye. So, we've had some great rye. So this is so knowing it's the cream of the crop. Ooh. Yeah, brother. <laughs> <laughs> so knowing how rare and hard to find this bottle is. Oh, the, the sticky coaster trick. Yeah. I love that joke. That That's wasn't cool. supposed to be a sticky coaster. <laughs> I put one of our one of the slate ones. One down. of the slate. Yeah, but anyway. Oh, well. Knowing how hard to find, how rare this bottle is, mm -hmm. how jazzed I was to get a hold of it, mm -hmm. MSRP, it, it's not a cheap bottle. No, it's, you said it's, 180. It's 180, um, that, and that was with tax. I think it was 160 something. Okay, uh, plus 167 tax. plus tax. It was right okay. at about 180. I want to say 169 because I'm a slut. Sure. Yeah. It's a 10 year rye, which I mean, you're looking at that that color. Mm -hmm. And knowing that yes. there's no additives, there's no colorings, there's no nothing in that. That is ten year, ten years worth of age right there. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I'm going to stop looks right like, there. Looks like that egg from Jurassic Park with the little with the little <laughs> mosquito. In it. Uh huh. Uh, I also want to take the time to that. So we were talking with Raven uh, after the mm -hmm. tasting or whatever, and we were talking about the the ten year rye that I got. And and how excited we were, and she said, "Fun fact, uh, yeah, fun fact. Uh, the master distiller, he he's known as Doctor No mm -hmm. because he will not let anything leave the barrel, let alone go into a bottle until it is ready, mm -hmm. regardless of if it if it's not ready. No matter, it, it may be ten years old, mm -hmm. it may be twelve years old." Doesn't matter. It's, it's not, not time if it's not right. It's not leaving the barrel until it's time. She said this particular one, she was fairly certain it was actually closer to 15. Yeah. Mictors does not have a 15 year. They have a 10 no. year age. They have a 20 year and a 25 year. Mm -hmm. And because they do not bottle and let things leave the barrel until the master distiller signs off on it and says mm -hmm. this is ready... She said that this one is actually closer to 15 years than the 10-year age statement. And I don't know it. of any other distillers that have that kind of um, 
That's some. What is it? Ethos. That's is, some they serious that patience. Of, and they and they should and they should though. <laughs> they should. They, they should have that care. They should put quality over profit because yeah. the, because the profit follows the quality. Yeah, but you do have, in all fairness, you do have, you know, a, a, by and large, you know, ninety fucking eight or whatever percent of the world's population just wants to drink it to right. get drunk. Like they're they're looking to throw it in with some uh, some cola, have a whiskey and cola, whatever. Back to where I was going with, with the story, though, is the color, the 10-year age statement. Mm-hmm. This drinks like a 10-year rare allocated bottle should drink. Mm. For, 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 for as, as much of a hunt as I've been, we've mm-hmm. been for the, the 10-year expression from, from Michter's. Mm-hmm. To get it, to open it up, to pour it, and then to sit here and go, oh, God damn. Right. Like we are. Yeah. Man, there's like that. It makes it worth it. It makes that hunt there's worth that, it. There's that There's that caramel that comes out at the end where it's just like. Like uh, post-finish. Yeah. It's yeah. like, it's like it almost makes me think of a not so sweet but more alcoholic Werther's candy. Werther's. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Like I feel like I feel like Grandma just popped out a little piece of candy for me. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma. Thanks, Grandma. Now dip that in your bourbon and call me in the morning, sweetie. Thanks, Gam Gam. Mm. Second nose, it's, it's starting to develop here. It's uh, it's it's rye grain. I wouldn't know quite yet. Yeah. Right. You second poor having asses. <laughs> I am mad at It's for the podcast. It's for the burger. Yeah, it's uh. <laughs> burger, burger. And for my belly. I got a Swedish chef on that one. Yeah, you went. Yeah, <laughs> when we went South Park with it. You went Swedish chef, which is great too. Burger, 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 oof, da, oof, da, oof, da. Burger, 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 burger. Or, or, or. You got that little fucking shrimp <laughs> screaming around like uh, Beaker. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I love Beaker. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's, he's the best. Uh, Henry the other That's day great. discovered uh, Muppet Babies on the Disney Plus. Oh, no. <laughs> I remember one time I was like, what am I watching? I, not to be distracting here for a second, but that just reminded me of the Snoop Frog. Where it's it's Kermit playing uh, Snoop Dogg on the acoustic guitar and singing to it. Wow. Okay. I, I, uh, it's it's hard being Kermit in the OD. Like, sorry, I, I can't, I can't, I can't copy it right now. Oh. Arnold Schwarzenegger and Kermit the Frog, <laughs> yeah. right here, ladies. I and wish gentlemen. you would, because like if you Kermit, could, Kermit the Frog, so. Kermit the Frog here. If you, if, you could, <laughs> if you could, like we could, uh, we could play the video while you're while you're doing the words. No, no, no? I don't. I, I can't remember it because I just watched it once. I haven't had a chance okay. to go back and do it again. Right, so but my wife and I were listening to it out back. And we were laughing our freaking asses off. When you say out back, do you mean like behind an Applebee's oh, Ray Town? No, 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 no. Like, like out, 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 out back our porch, our porch out okay. back. Yeah. Okay. Out back is where we hang out. We watch the sunset at night. Wow. And we, we chill. Yeah, we, we have so our dinner. We, are... grab our, we grab our drinks. We go sit outside. We watch the sunset, have a smoke, and, wow. you know, have a little table talks and watch funny ass videos. <laughs> you guys are in it for the long haul then. Yeah, dude. That's why we got married. I don't, know, I don't know why else you get right. fucking cheers short term. Cheers to fucking that, dude. Yeah, cheers. Love, love and mirror. Who's gotten the second nose yet? I have, and so it's like it's uh, it's dry, it's raw rye grain. That is definitely and dry, dry. It's yeah, it's caramel. Dry, dry, yeah, you said it just right. That's it's exactly the fuck I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. And like Fourth of July, there's something on the end of it. Just like reminds me of like smoke bombs and sparklers. <laughs> Are you sure that's not the smoke? <laughs> it, it could be stuck in my fucking mustache. And, I don't know that. And on my hand, could be. I can. That. I can kind of smell. I wash my hands twice after that episode, that thing, and I'm that, like, that's an aromatic little love child over there. Whew. I also get a little bit of raisin. Apricot. Apricot. Raisin. Apricot and raisin. Yeah. Dried, yeah, I was thinking dried apricot. 
It smells like it smells like when you open up a little little mini box of raisins. Mm-hmm. Yep, I love those. Yeah. What'd you get it on the nose? On the nose, I gave it a five. How about you, Phil? Five. 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 Isn't that a shock? How about the palate? W two. Um. Well, I gave it a five. Girl, same. Phil. Same girl. Yeah. <laughs> How about the finish? I gave it another five. You gave it another five? I did. This is an outrage. 100 fucking percent outrage. Because I did the same damn thing. <laughs> Phil? Oh, uh, we're in it. We're in it to win it. We're in it. <laughs> All, right. All right. Now, bottle presentation could be a little bit iffy. But it does have, uh, sticking with the rye theme, mm-hmm. you got green. Right? And, right. And um, uh, I think... Uh, That's a great shade of green. Even though you never know what... That is a good shade of green. You never know what shade. It's like that the, forest, deep forest green you put on a Mitsubishi Lancer. No, sorry. It's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of between an olive and an orange. Yeah. I, saw, I saw this shade of green on Abby Eden this morning on Fox 4. And, oh, sweet Jesus. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's very similar to the Savor the Burn t-shirts that you can find on savortheburn.com. Mm-hmm. Slash shop. Slap shop. Slap shop. Uh, Slap shop. So you never know exactly what. Uh, shade of amber, your the juice is going to come when it comes out of the barrel. This one here works perfectly with the colors on the label. Uh, I don't know if they did that intentionally, probably not. But I mean, they just they just pick their uh, their their hunter evergreen fucking whatever green color. It's got the cool neck tag, yep. which I really dig. Uh, the wax dip, and on top of that, you've got the uh, the natural cork, cork. Uh, mm-hmm. inside of a a, a black um, uh, topper. Covered in that wonderful green wax, mm-hmm. um, and uh, even though you did have a bit of a struggle with it, uh, the uh, the filament tape uh, it held uh, pull strip. Yeah, so so that's what I was. It worked. Say. And yeah. It worked quite well. Um, so this this was critical for me. Um, mm-hmm. I was I was thinking at first, like you know, bottle presentation wise. Uh, with all the things you also said, the heavy bottom glass. Heavy bottom, yes. This is this is such a cool mm-hmm. appearance because it gives it gives the the the, the whiskey its presentation to mm-hmm. elevate, and and it's unique and it, and it's it's distinguished from their net their and unlike and unlike and unlike Maker's Mark where it's it turns out to be a twist off. A uh, wax ring. This, this, they packaged this in a way that they meant for this to stay sealed for as long as you wanted it yep. to. Mm-hmm. Um, like, you know, they got the little story label around it, but yeah, just the, the presentation of the bottle. If you were to see this just sitting on a shelf without the little tag on it, like if mm-hmm. you saw a little background light, I don't know if I can do that right. Like it just presents itself as fancy. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's refined. It's classy. No. And it's delicious. Jesus it is classy. Christ. It's a rounded, tapered sh- flask style. You got bottle. the you, you got the the little neck neck uh, decal on right. there that Up has here, the yeah. barrel number. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, it's single barrel. It's single barrel, barrel so number. It, so it's it has to have the barrel number. Yeah. Uh, to I almost I, I almost docked it because of the wax dipping, but then I changed. Really, it. I did because I I always I always think of like uh, like the maker's mark in my head. Oh, so, okay. so I get I got a bias right there because mm-hmm. it's like quit fucking wax wax dipping your shit. Mm-hmm. Um, but I I I reneged, uh, and uh, I've never heard it pronounced that way, but I like it. Reneged, reneged, mm-hmm. um, but. Um, once I started thinking about it, I was like, there's a purpose behind that because yeah, that, that's meant to be actually really sealed. Because uh, with limited amount of uh, Michter's exposure you've had, you know that everything they do has a purpose. Yeah, and well, and it's clean and it's not droopy either. It's not like they just like pissed off the bottle or pissed yep. on the bottle. Yeah, if, they, if it had the, the long drips, that yeah. would interact with Maker's uh, copyright infringement. Um, well, well, Maker, yeah, but, Maker's has that copyrighted. Yeah. Oh, seriously? The yeah. wax strip? Yeah. Which is why you don't see anyone but Maker's having drips Whether it's down red or not. Wax. Yep. It is copyrighted, yeah, and they will sue your ass if you even try to release. Well, it's a good thing I don't suppose to make a mark because it doesn't take that good. <laughs> it really doesn't. It, it, it doesn't take that good. They're original. Have you had the number forty six? The number forty six no. and uh, number forty six cask strength. Cask strength. Uh, both of them were good. Pretty the solid. cask strength was they're, better than. They're phenomenal. They're, they're really. Good. Yeah, it, it was. They're I was not, not expecting. Good. I went into that episode thinking this is going to be you know hot garbage, and it just wasn't. Yeah, I was, nope. I yeah. Was, and that's this is like this is like fiber tape. Like this is never yeah, gonna rip. Like tape. If you, yeah, if you get your finger around fill that, a mint tape. Yeah, fill a mint. Yeah, fill a mint. So hey. all that said, what did you give it? The bottle presentation? presentation. I gave it a five. 
You know, we gave the uh, the ten year bourbon a five on the bottle presentation, and, and it's super similar. And we talked through a lot of the same points. Yeah, I had to give it a five. Mm. I did too, Phil. A five. I'll yeah. be damned. Ten, ten, ten. Yeah, it looks like we've got ourselves a, a triple ten. No bias. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is a, a full 10 out of 10 rye. Um, this has never happened before, at least with a rye. We had it with, happened with the bourbon, and coincidentally, it's the same distillery. Can't go wrong, man. This uh, is the this is the third time I've had Michter's, and it is never disappointed ever. So I mean, yeah, I mean, look at that. They're they're it's the same bottle. Yeah, it's the same black tapered, background versus the green rounded tapered flask, heavy bottom bottle. I might have dinked to that one for the awkward label. Or wait, is it sitting on a lean? Probably, yeah. yeah probably. You got the barrel. <laughs> yeah, on the floor. It, was, it was like it was optical illusion on me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we, we don't we don't diss Mictor's bottles around here. Not in Saber at the Burn Studio. You suck. Not Party these. <laughs> Stone Cold Stunner. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this is uh, this uh, this doesn't happen often, uh, fellow Saber the that Burners. Was, it was we still have no idea what to call you guys for a nickname, uh, dude. We had three unanimous, three unanimous, three unanimous yeah, for sure. Yes, yeah. this is uh, this is this has been a great night. Uh, this is an incredible bottle. Uh, if you have the chance to get a hold of this bottle, MSRP being one eighty, absolutely do it. I I don't think I would touch it at second market 400 no. like I don't, I don't i wouldn't there's no yeah there's sadly a it's a hard chance. pass at, at second yeah, market there's yeah. a zero percent chance it's just i would i would rather try to sweet talk a mixer's representative into hanging out with us to get the vip treatment <laughs> to uh have our chance at an msrp priced bottle screw the scalpers screw the scalpers and if you you're a scalper, uh, screw you. Oh, and I'll tell you, we didn't, we didn't, we, I think we mentioned this before. I, we didn't mention it on this episode. But uh, when we went to Rieger's and we got three flights, mm -hmm. we got like three different, uh, you know, trays of food. And we talked for hours. And, you know, uh, we we also got cocktails made with uh, with Rieger's uh, whiskey. We got the the old fashioned and the horse feather. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, she got a, she tried my my old fashioned. Way to do it, like you know, because uh, th they're incredible in cocktails, right? So anyway, yeah. so I, I, I wanted her to try Kansas City. I wanted to treat her, whoever it was that was coming, whether he or her or him or whatever. I don't care. I wanted to treat the mixers presenter to Kansas City and show them what it's like. This is what Kansas here City in offers. Town. This is what we're all about. And what did she do? She flipped a script on us and paid for the whole fucking night. What? Yeah, dude. Yeah. That's like, awesome. Class. That's She's, awesome. I mean, mixers, you can't go wrong with mixers no matter what. I just... I'm still stunned by how good they were to us. Yeah. Yeah. And I wish and, I could have been there. And then and continue then, to be yeah. good yeah. to and us when we visited good. Louisville. Yeah. It, it, good to you and your sister <clears throat> yeah. and your brother in law. And I mean, it, it everybody was, had a great time. You know, I, I was told ahead of time, you know, hey, we're, we're going to make sure you, you have the VIP treatment. Yeah. And, and you don't know I, what I mean, that's like. Yeah. You know, what does that mean? And, and I gotta say, I mean, I I, I I felt I mean, if it's Kilroy, you got drink tickets from a bucket of beer <laughs> that fucking some other band drank all of. Uh, I straight up felt VIP from. I walk in there and I'm like, hey, I'm here for the three o'clock tour. My name's Wayne Wilson. She's like, Ch -ch -ch, you know, the 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 lady behind the counter. She's typed my name in there, and she goes, oh. And then she turns around to another coworker, and she's like, "What does it mean when there's a red star next to his name? <laughs> what does it mean? It means he's it a commie. <laughs> he's, a, he's a fucking pinko commie. <laughs> Don't be pussy. <laughs> <laughs> we drink vodka. And we drink vodka. Stoli. And, and sing Tina Turner <laughs> in the shower. It's not Tina Turner. It's it's Whitney Houston. It's a Whit Whitney. I almost went. I went, almost went uh, Italian or something. It's a, it's a Whitney Houston. I always. Oh, it's me, a Mario. <laughs> <laughs> you start with one accent, slowly Ooh. travel through Disney right. movies. Usually, mine lands on like Mexican. <laughs> that's that's my my default. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because I speak so much Mexican. I don't know. Good times. <laughs> Yo quiero Taco Bell. Quiero Taco Bell. Uh, if you speak Mexican or if uh, you speak uh, uh, broken, broken, uh, if you drink uh, uh, whiskey, bourbon, or scotch, or whatever, no matter who you are, no matter where you are, no matter what you're drinking, 
never forget. Keep, Keep on, on burning. burning.